Preaching the word of God here, the stadium now. was the father of Salem. Salem was the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rehab. And Boaz was the father of Obadiah, whose mother was Ruth. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse was the father of David, the king. David was the father of Solomon, whose mother had been wife of Uriah. Solomon was the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam was the father of Abijah. Abijah was the father of Asaph. Asaph was the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat was the father of Joram. Joram was the father of Uzzah. Uzzah was the father of Jotham. Jotham was the father of Ahaz. Ahab was the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah was the father of Manseah. Manseah was the father of Amos. Amos was the father of Joash. Joash was the father of Jokanah and his brothers. This was the time of the exile to Babylon. After the exile to Babylon, Jokanah was the father of Shatil. Shatil was the father of Jeroboam. Jeroboam was the father of Abu. Abidu was the father of Ilkam. Ilkam was the father of Azor. Azor was the father of Zadak. Zadak was the father of Achim. Achim was the father of Elu. Elu was the father of Elzer. Elzer was the father of Manteya. Manteya was the father of Jacob. Jacob was the father of Joseph. I asked you how to put a marriage. I know Jesus was born and was called the Christ. So there were 14 generations from Abraham to David. 14 generations from David to the exile to Babylon. 14 generations from the exile to Babylon to Christ. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. When Mary, his mother, was engaged to Joseph, before they were married, she became pregnant by the Holy Spirit. And Joseph, yeah. her husband, was a righteous man because he didn't want to humiliate her. He decided to call off the engagement quietly. As he was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, I'm going to try to get one of them, David, one of them uh, voice mics. Yeah. It's got the voice Mary box like he's wife. got on it. That guy had, speaker. had the speaker on it. Yeah. And that way you can, you can people. Yeah. Well, you just got so many decibels, you know. If you will call him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Yeah. Well, it's the truth. A lot of them are, are drunk. A lot of them come these games. Come these games, man. They high as a kite. They don't care about. That. They come out and watch the game, get drunk. Virgin will become pregnant and give birth to a son. They will call him Emmanuel. Yeah, they're not Emmanuel here to. means God with us. You know, to worship the Lord. They here to get drunk, and watch a ball game. He did just as the angel from God commanded. He took Mary as his wife, but he did not have sexual relations with her until she gave birth to a son. Like Joseph Jesus. called him Jesus. Amen. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod heard the king heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. 
And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. Thank for you, Jesus. out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently. You got your Bible the ready? Star you want to read with us? Appeared. I don't have it and he on sent me. them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search what? diligently for the young child. That's supposed to be the weapon, man. And when you have found him, bring me word again. When you have found him, bring me word again. That's that's my shotgun. <laughs> Mark 8, 36, the word is sharper than any two-edged sword, baking asunder the borrow and the mound. Powerful than any two-edged sword. Mark 8, 36. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, let's read Mark 8, 36. Mark 8, 36. But what shall it profit a man again to lose the whole world? Yeah, I do Matthew 3. Shall it shame to me? It says, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this darkness and simple generation of him, also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, it says that Mark 8.38, Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me, and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father with his holy angels. That's what the Bible says. It says, For whatsoever save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel's name shall save it. Shall that prophet of man gain the whole world and lose his own soul. And that's good. Can I read you one? Yeah, you're going to get, I'll let you read right after me. If he wants. Uh, Revelation 18. All right. And in all the coast there are, from two years old and under, <clears throat> Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, people. Jesus is coming soon. Repent of your sins. Come and know the Lord, is what the Bible says. Is this ball game going to save you from hell? I think not. The Lord said, come unto me as you are, you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. Is God in a ball game? Y'all shouting for a ball game, why not for Jesus? He's the kickoff, ain't he? God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, here we go. Matthew 3. Matthew 3. All right, this says in Matthew, we're going to read the whole chapter of 3, right? Matthew 3. <laughs> Matthew 3, in those days came John, <clears throat> the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Bible says that in those days got John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And the same John had his... 
And the same giant had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locust and wild honey, right? Then went out to him Jerusalem and all to Judea and all the region round about Jordan and were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees and come to his baptism, he said unto them, O ye generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits, meat, and for repentance that's suitable. And think not to say within yourselves, We ye have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that God is able to these of uh, these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees, therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is honed down and cast into the fire. But he says in 11, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he who cometh after me is, ma is mightier than I. Whose shoes I am not worthy to bear, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Whose fan is at his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff which with unquenchable fire. Then come a Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized with thee, and comest thou to me. And Jesus answered, said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it, it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. That he to that he uh he too had suffered him. <clears throat> and Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were open unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending. Like a dove, a lightning upon him, and lo, a voice from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. He's talking about God's the Father, is telling Jesus, in whom, to whom my Son I am well pleased that he did the work of his Father. He did what the God had wanted him to do in the flesh. So I say today, you know, you people are going to a ball game. Why not go in front, you know, into God and worship him instead of a, of a, of a ball game, you know, of a, of a football game. Is the football game going to take you to heaven? I think not. Jesus said, you come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, I will give you rest. He says, you can only come to the Father, but it's by me. Okay? He that acknowledge the Father hath not the Father, but the Father hath knowledge, knowledge him is to the Son. So, anyway, whose who's turn is it? My turn. Okay, brother, go ahead. I'm reading out of Ezekiel 317. Yeah, hey, brother, repent. Jesus loves you. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, Thank you, Jesus. We're not ashamed of the word of God. And For it is the foundation of the world. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speaking to warn the wicked from his Repent. wicked Repent. Time, the kingdom is at hand. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. And his blood will be required of that hand. Warning of what? Warning of what's to come upon the land. Let's go to Revelation 18, verse 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mighty, mightily with his strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and it's become a habitation of devils, and a hold of every foul spirit. Babylon and cage, is fallen. And a cage of every right. unclean and hateful bird. All, for all the nations have drunken of her wine, of the wine of her wars, and of her fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And, and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich through the abundance of her, of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, 
And God has remembered her iniquity. Reward her even as she had rewarded you. And double unto her, double according to her work, her works. And the cup of her, and the cup, and the cup which she has filled, fill unto her double. How much she has glorified herself and lived del delicately. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I said a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her place come in one day, death, and mourning, and famine, and she shall order the divine of fighting. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived and lived with her, 